With Fixed Wireless recently stepping into the spotlight, it's good to know what safety you need and the difference between mobile wireless and fixed wireless. We'll talk about it coming up on this edition of Climber Connection. All right, folks, let's talk fixed wireless. To help me out, I'm joined by David Giles of Midco. David, thanks for being here. What exactly is fixed wireless? Fixed wireless is providing broadband connections using fixed antennas, using radio waves to provide high-speed internet connections. Another way to look at fixed wireless is we're extending fiber. We provide bandwidth, through radio frequencies in areas that are typically not economical to put fiber. The environment may not allow the installation of fiber easily, rock, different terrain, water. It's just quicker to deploy and cost effective. David, is this a typical structure that fixed wireless would be on? Wow, that's a pretty open question because fixed wireless goes on rooftops, farm grain legs, structures like monopoles for smaller sites, all the way up to the big commercial radio towers. Why is fixed wireless such a hot topic these days? I think really it's the, the need of broadband. Our world has changed. We need to be connected all the time. And fixed wireless, it's another tool in the toolbox. It's more cost effective, it's quicker to deploy, and we can really serve that customer secure, safe, and reliable. We really want our customers connected the best possible way. With this being broadband, is it included in some of the government funding programs? Uh, yes, it is in, in most programs. There are several government programs, and I mean every state has, is supposed to be equal, but everybody's got different broadband offices. So the answer is yes, with some uh, details to be worked out. Now I see the setup here has got a panel antenna as well as a microwave dish. Is that a typical setup on most of your sites? Well, it really is, but this is unique in, in one of the most, more important sites because we bring fiber into here and fixed wireless extends our fiber network. We bring in the fiber, shoot it the directions we need, and we also broadcast to customers off of this. What differentiates you from a carrier? So the difference between a fixed wireless antenna and a mobile antenna is from our customer's home or business, the antenna points directly at the tower. The tower has its sectors and pointed directly to the customer. That's a, a solid link like you would use a flashlight and direct the light. In a cell signal, it's gonna be like you open a flashlight out and it, and it sprays more. There can be interference or degradation of signal. Now, how close does the customer need to be to a tower to get the optimal signal? When we go to customers, we usually keep it less than 10 miles. It depends on the terrain. It depends on the height of the tower. It depends on the height of the customer location. So our technicians, through a site survey, they make that determination. David, if I'm gonna go work on one of your fixed wireless sites, what are some of the safety concerns I need to worry about? Uh, climbing and your own safety is, is your main concern. We've got so many different structures from farm buildings to farm grain sites, silos, towers, we're on water towers. Each structure has a very unique safety factor wrapped around it. You have to tie off, you have to follow all the safety rules. It's your life and your responsibility. David, that's great advice. Thanks for being here. Fixed wireless, it's a hot topic. Thanks for watching, stay safe.